welcome back to Victoria's Educational Services, where I break down difficult concepts into easy steps. Our objective for today is to use the area model and multiplication to show the equivalence of two fractions. This lesson covers standard 4.nf.1 and is based on Eureka Math Module 5, Lessons 7 and 8. By the end of this video, you'll be able to show the equivalence of two fractions by using area models and multiplication. Let's start with a concept overview. This will help us solve our next problem and show us what our thinking should look like when we're using area models and multiplication to show the equivalence of two fractions. First, I'm drawing an area model that is partitioned into halves. I'm going to shade and write one half below the area model. Next, I'm drawing one horizontal dotted line across the area model. Take a look at our area model now. What happened to the fractional units? The units got smaller. And what happened to the number of units? Well, we started off with two pieces and now we have four parts. So we have double the number of units. Take a look at our shaded units. There was one shaded unit and now there are two. So those doubled. So we started with one half shaded, and now if you look, we have two fourths that are shaded. This means that one half and two fourths are equivalent. Now let's write our multiplication sentence. Let's write our starting fraction, which was one half, equals one half times two. We're multiplying by two because we doubled the amount of unit fractions we had. So we're doing one half times two equals two fourths. And that's how you use multiplication to show two fractions are equivalent. This problem states to draw an area model and write a multiplication sentence to prove that 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. Since our starting fraction is 3 fourths, I'll draw a rectangle for our area model and partition it into four equal parts. Then I'll shade three parts to represent the three-fourths. Our next step is to partition our area model into eighths, which I can do by drawing a horizontal dotted line through the middle. Now let's count how many shaded pieces we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we now have six eighths and three fourths represented by this area model. Since six eighths takes up the same amount of shaded space as three fourths, we've proved with this area model that six eighths and three fourths are equivalent. Now let's write this as a multiplication sentence. We start with our original fraction, so we'll write 3 fourths equals 3 fourths times 2. The reason we're multiplying by 2 is because we partitioned our area model into two parts to break it into 8. 3 fourths times 2 equals 6 eighths. So we proved once again that 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. And that's it. Please like and subscribe so I can continue to provide free educational videos. Leave a comment if this helped you or if you need additional help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.